He's known for his baby face and for being one of the most popular movie stars of the 1980s. Now I'm gonna make it to the top by myself. Oh, God, you're adorable. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and career of Michael J. Fox. You know what the problem is? I'm tired of playing cartoons, Ed. You don't want me to grow up. The studio doesn't want me to grow up. I'm the only one who wants me to grow up! He was born Michael Andrew Fox on June 9, 1961, in Edmonton, Alberta. As the son of a member of the Canadian Forces, he and his family moved a lot in his youth before finally settling in Burnaby, British Columbia by the 1970s. As a youth, Fox dreamed of playing professional hockey before he finally set his sights on acting. After starring in the Canadian TV series Leo and Me at the age of 15, he moved to Los Angeles to chase his new dream of becoming an actor in 1979. It was around this time he was forced to change his stage name to Michael J. Fox because of another actor named Michael Fox. He decided not to choose his own middle initial to avoid headlines like Michael's a Fox. His first feature film appearance came in the 1980 movie Midnight Madness. This game is stupid. Who cares about it anyway? Just two years later, he began playing one of the most important roles of his career, young Republican Alex P. Keaton on the NBC sitcom Family Ties. What would you do? <laughs> Pressure mounting from all sides, your, your entire future, your career hangs in the balance. Would you do something you knew was wrong? <laughs> He went on to win three Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe for his work on the show, and met his future wife Tracy Pollan while filming. His television success quickly led to many film roles. 1985 proved to be one of the biggest years of his career, with the release of Teen Wolf following his iconic role as Marty McFly in the first film of the immensely popular Back to the Future trilogy. While Fox had always been the first choice to star in the film, his commitment to family ties almost prevented him from appearing in the time travel comedy. However, after it was decided that Eric Stoltz was not appropriate for the film, Fox worked out a deal with his NBC bosses and the rest is history. Do you mind if we park for a while? That's a great idea. I'd love to park. Huh? Well, Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. What? Fox spent the remainder of the 1980s filming his sitcom and appearing in a number of movies. These films included the 1987 comedy The Secret of My Success, where he played a small-town boy who moves to New York to make it big. If you joined our training program out of high school, you'd be qualified for this job now. And why did I go to college? I had fun, didn't you? <laughs> The 1988 drama Bright Lights, Big City, where he spends many drug and alcohol-filled evenings partying with his best friend. Do you ever have this nearly overwhelming desire to just spend a quiet evening at home? <laughs> no. And the 1989 film Casualties of War, where he played a private serving in the Vietnam War. He kept up his big screen appearances leading into the 90s, with such films as Doc Hollywood, The Hard Way, For Love or Money, and Greedy. He also had smaller roles in The American President and Mars Attacks. Nineteen ninety-six, however, saw Fox take on his last major film role in The Frighteners. However, he continued to lend his voice to such films as Stuart Little, Homeward Bound, and Atlantis, The Lost Empire. He also made his TV comeback in 96 with his role as the deputy mayor of New York in Spin City. I'm not afraid of you, Mike. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> This was another critically acclaimed role for the actor, as he won three Golden Globes and an Emmy during its run. However, it was also during this show that he publicly announced he was suffering from Parkinson's disease, and had been since the filming of Doc Hollywood. The degenerative disease forced the energetic actor into semi-retirement, and in 2000 he was replaced by Charlie Sheen on Spin City. Since then, Fox has focused much of his time on finding a cure for Parkinson's by starting and promoting his Michael J. Fox Foundation. His vocal support of stem cell studies has helped raise awareness and funds for research into the disease as well. In 2010, he was awarded the Order of Canada for his outstanding achievements. 
He remains a sought-after actor and has made a number of successful guest-starring roles on television in recent years, including stints on Scrubs, Boston Legal, Rescue Me, The Good Wife, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Fox has also become a best-selling author, telling his story in writing on more than one occasion. While he is best known for his smart-alecky teenage characters, Michael J. Fox has grown into a respected actor and an icon in the fight for a cure for Parkinson's disease.